There are certain perceptions about space that are set in public. From the color of the sun to how explosions happen in space. All of these have been imbibed in us via pop culture and media. But are all these really true? Fasten your seatbelts and join us, as we investigate the astounding truths that contradict our preconceived assumptions about the vastness of space beyond Earth. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. First, the color of the sun. Despite the common perception of it being a yellow ball of fire, the sun appears green from space. The spectrum of light that the star produces and its temperature both influence its hue. When observed from Earth, blue light is scattered by our atmosphere, giving the appearance of yellow light, even though the sun emits most of its energy in a wavelength that is near to green. Earth's temperature would be far lower if it were actually yellow. Second, nature of the sun. Rather than being a burning ball of fire, the sun is actually a giant ball of gas made mostly of hydrogen and helium. As opposed to a fire, which functions through a chemical reaction with oxygen, the sun functions more like a nuclear reactor. It continuously burns hydrogen atoms to produce helium, releasing a massive quantity of energy and raising the temperature to extremely high levels. Third, explosions in space. Contrary to cinematic depictions, explosions can't occur in space because there's no air to support combustion. Without oxygen, there is no fire. Spaceships cannot go down in violent blasts in the vacuum of space. That's another myth busted. Fourth, it's impossible to count stars. The idea that there are too many stars in the universe is refuted. Scientists have cataloged 9,110 stars that may be seen with the unaided eye from Earth, according to the Yale Bright Star Catalog. Fifth, traveling through an asteroid belt. It's not as difficult as many think to navigate through an asteroid belt. The likelihood of spacecraft collisions is quite low, even if billions of space rocks are present. Instead, they are dispersed across a large area. Sixth, freezing in space. You wouldn't freeze if flung into space right away. The process of freezing would take hours since heat does not move fast in vacuum space. It would be the oxygen shortage that poses the most risk. Continuing to number seven, explosion in space. In space, you wouldn't explode, instead, the lack of atmospheric pressure would cause nitrogen in your bloodstream to form bubbles, inflating your body. However, the absence of oxygen would lead to unconsciousness and eventual organ failure. Moving on to 8, how's the temperature in space? It's not always cold in space. Stars may be found at a variety of temperatures around them, thick gas clouds, for example, can be quite frigid. Since particles are absent in a vacuum, temperature in space is not defined in the same manner as it is on Earth. Number 9, which is the hottest planet. While everyone might assume Mercury, being closest to the Sun, is the hottest planet. Venus holds that title due to its thick atmosphere, creating a greenhouse effect that traps heat, resulting in scorching surface temperatures. Next on 10 we have, the solar system is stationary. The solar system is not fixed, it travels across space at a rate of 220 kilometers per second. Every 230 million years, it completes an orbit around the Milky Way, calling into question the concept of a fixed cosmic position. Number 11 goes to, planets orbit the Sun. Planets do not orbit the Sun in a circular orbit. Instead, they and their moons circle a shared core, known as the barycenter. The barycenter is closer to the Sun's core for Earth, but farther away for bigger planets like Jupiter. Number 12 says Earth is a sphere. While Earth seems spherical from orbit, it is really an ellipsoid rather than a perfect sphere. The bulge at the equator is created by the planet's rotation, which results in a somewhat less gravitational attraction near the equator. And finally 13, sound in space. Sound cannot travel through the vacuum of space due to the lack of a medium for sound waves. However, in regions with sufficient particles, such as gas clouds, sound can propagate. 
Certain cosmic phenomena, like black holes and planets, can produce sounds if we could perceive them. By dispelling these cosmic myths, we find ourselves on the verge of a cosmos rich, with wonders and shocks. Each revelation takes us closer to comprehending the complexities of space, reminding us that reality frequently outperforms the fanciful depictions we find in popular culture. What are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button and share this video around. And don't forget to subscribe Lab360, because together, we will explore.